What's going on everybody? It's 123 Stealth Bomber here bringing you another tutorial on Men of War Assault Squad 2 in the gem editor. And today we're going to look at how to use the clip uh, or the boundaries if you want to put it that way. Um, what you see in my uh, screen right now is when you load up the editor right away you're going to notice uh, this green line protruding with all these smaller yellow, blue, and purple lines uh, with a non-existent map. And this, in fact, is our um, boundaries that we're going to be talking about. Um, I've been getting constant requests for this video, so um, it's not a hard topic. I don't know why people are making it way harder than it actually is. It's a very, very easy thing to do, um, and it's very helpful for almost anything that you make in terms of maps um, or missions. So. I wanted to get this out of the way and clarify this up for the last time so I don't have to keep getting a hundred messages for it. So um, let's start off with um, what you need to do first. Okay, so the first thing is don't worry about F3 mode. We're going to be doing this in F2 mode for the most part of the video. The Later in the video, we'll be going to F3 to script it. For the most part, you need to start off in F2 mode. So what we're going to do is while you're in F2 mode, load up a map. If you uh, have your own map, that's fine. It doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a multiplayer map from the actual game itself, and I'm just going to edit that way. So now what I'm doing, I'm just going to wait for it to load up, and then we'll uh, continue from there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is, well, let me just uh, move the clip position. Okay, so... You'll notice right away on the outskirts of the map, there's these boundaries or these lines. So pretty much this is your clip set. Um, and this determines your fog lines, your camera movements, all that stuff. So, I mean, because people have been always asking, how do you adjust the fog and all that stuff? How do you get fog? Well, this is how you're going to do it. So first thing is, um, you're going to go to the clip tab because if I just try and select them now I can't it's selecting the objects on the map itself since we're in F2 mode you can uh, edit objects in F2 mode and all that stuff so in order to actually edit the objects they're in their own tab unlike the regular objects when they're in their entity tab it will be the clip tag so it's gonna be the third tag well the third tab and it's gonna be like this picture of a camera with like a 90 degree angle I guess that's what it's pointing at um, and it's gonna bring up the presets with this menu and then the first one that's gonna be there is auto uh, auto you always wanna have the auto so do not get rid of it and pretty much the auto is the default boundaries around the entire map do not edit this one because if you edit this boundary set uh, and you try to save it what it'll do is it'll actually reset to the normal default because you need a default at all times so if you want to edit these boundary lines or these clip lines then you actually have to make a new one so let's go ahead and do that right now so what you're going to do is right click on this empty box and it's going to say add and insert give it a new name and what you're going to do is now we can officially move the lines. So when you move your cursor over it, you'll notice how it turns like a greenish color. And you, what you're going to do is you're going to left click and you can drag in that, well, in that motion. You can't drag this line up or down. You can only move this one left or right. And you have to adjust it on all four sides. It doesn't affect the other sides. It only affects one side at a time. So now let's talk about what each line is and what they do. So the yellow line is your fog line is your beginning fog line you'll notice as I move the yellow line this green line moves with it, it they're both connected because I cannot you cannot actually edit the green line people wonder why you can't move the green line is because it's connected with the yellow line so um, pretty much anything like where my mouse is is the actual regular map the way we see it but anything on this yellow line is pretty much the starting fog line it's very very faint but it's there uh, anything between the yellow line and the green line is like a gradient from like a light fog to a heavy fog anything at the green line and beyond is the heaviest point of fog where you can no longer see the map anything after that point is non-existent you can no longer see it now the map doesn't cut it off I mean it's still there it's just that you won't be able to see it um, so let me uh, start editing while we go and um, yeah, let me start moving these yellow lines in the position. I'm just going to make, for this example of this tutorial, I'm just going to make up something really 
uh, like the map a lot smaller by adjusting these lines to a different point in the map. And yeah, that seems about good. Actually, let me bring this one back a little bit more. Okay, that seems pretty good. Okay, so uh, just make sure um, you know what those do. So the blue and pink line, or purple line, uh, we'll start off with the blue line. The blue line, uh, unlike the yellow and green line, the fog lines, this one has its own, it's just a single line. There's no line connected to it. Uh, so the blue line restricts camera movement. So anything um, after this blue line, uh, the camera can no longer go past it. Uh, you can see past it, but you just can't go past it with the camera movements. Um, again, and this is good for limiting the characters, well, the players' movements or with the camera, so they can't just wander around the map without seeing anything. So when wherever you move the yellow lines, you kind of want to move the blue line with it. Um, you don't have to, but it is kind of recommended to make the map a little bit more professional looking if you want to do it that way. Uh, so let me adjust the blue line now. How come it won't let me? Oh, there we go. Oh, wait, no, I dragged the purple line. For some reason, it's not letting me. All right, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that one. That one's not, for some reason, let me select it. Um, yeah, you have to be very specific. For some reason, you have to be in a very specific spot in order to select it. Sometimes it's easy, and then sometimes it isn't. But anyways, getting back to this. Now, the purple line, again, it's a single line. Um, the purple line is uh, restricts. If you haven't guessed already, purple line restricts unit movement. So, like the blue line where it restricts camera movement, this room restricts unit movement. So, anything... On the inside of the map, uh, the units can freely move around the battlefield. Anything after this, can the units can no longer move past it. Now, however, however, if you spawn in reinforcements, say if you spawn like right here, they can move on the out barriers, if you want to put it, like the outside barriers of the map. But they can no longer, once they travel on the inside of the map, they can no longer go out. So they once they go in, they can't go back out. Um, now, aircraft... As far as my knowledge goes, I think they are not affected by um, by the unit uh, unit boundary line. I'm not exactly sure, but for some reason it seems like that way. So I'm guessing it's all ground units, because remember, aircraft is kind of just like a you know special thing as like a reinforcement or whatever. It's not really used anyways, because um, usually this game's all about ground units. So. I'm guessing this only affects ground units. So if you're wondering about air units, I think they can go through the purple over the purple line, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, but from what I've been experiencing, yes, they can go through it. Now, for the most part, you want to put this pretty much paired this up to the uh, like up to like the green line. Pretty much, you want to like yeah pair it up to the green line, so the units can just go right up to the like to the heaviest point in the fog line but can no longer go past it so once they go past you know like once they reach that line they can no longer go past this so now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to edit the remaining lines and let's see if i can finally grab this blue line oh there we go okay now uh what we're going to do now is we're going to save the map um so easiest way to do that is just press escape it bring up the editor menu and you're gonna if you made a map already you can just hit save but in my case for the tutorial it, this is a brand new map so I'm just gonna hit save as I'm gonna give it a brand new name call this test it's gonna save it and it's gonna reload the map for you if you save uh, hit a save as okay and just to show you the auto is still at the default, and the one is the one we just edited. Uh, as you can still see, it's in the positions that we had it as last time before we saved. Okay, so now what we can do is we can now move on to F3 mode. So if you haven't already, press F3. First thing we're going to do is we're going to hit Escape again, and we're going to also save it again. You're going to hit Save As, give it a quick name, and save it. That's all you have to do. Now we're done with that. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to give this an environment. Uh, fast way to get to it is press F6, and it'll bring you to the environments tab. Um, and let's give this an environment. 
Now, one thing to note, this is very important, uh, you do need an environment. Without an environment, a sky and all that stuff, you will not, in fact, be able to see the fog lines. The fog line is dependent on the environment tab. So, uh, with all the shadows included and all that stuff, without it, you will not be able to see the fog line appear. It'll still be the way it was, like, pretty much as we see it right now. Like, we'll be able to see it the way it is right now. Or, like right now how it you can see the um, edge of the map it would be like this you need an environment at all times okay so um, now what we could do is we can script this uh, if go to your triggers tab create a new one right click and add an insert give it a new name skip right over conditions we don't need any conditions we just need one command so add an insert under commands and it should be under scene and it will be called set clip so for people who are wondering what set clip does, well, it says it right in the main, right in the name. It sets the clip. What we've been doing this, pretty much what we've been talking about this entire video. Um, so all you do for this one is it's going to ask for the name of the clip that you've made. So we have only made one. Well, we made auto, but um, auto was there automatically. We made one. And uh, that's all we need to do. Unlike the other things we do in our tutorials, usually it's a lot longer and com uh, complicated. But for this, is really, really easy. Just give it the name, and it'll set the clip for you. So now we can test this right out. Now, uh, as you can see, for some reason, it did not actually set the clip. But if I switch to F2 mode and then switch back, it will switch. For some reason, I don't know, maybe that's just the glitch in um, Metal War Soul Squad 2. Maybe that's the thing that the developers have to fix for the editor itself. Because I noticed that it did not do that for Metal War Soul Squad 1, where you had to switch to F2 mode, then switch to F1 mode again. Because uh, I'd never seen that happen. But, as you can see... Uh, we are restricted within these movements. I can no longer move past these parts. Uh, I'll even spawn in the unit just to show you that it can't pass that part. Um, you can even, what's really cool, a feature, really good feature, is that actually shrinks the map to proportion as well. You can see the map is proportion. You can see that road right that goes right around the, like right through the middle of the map and it actually shrinks it to size, which is really nice. Um, and as well as the fog line. And I'll show you the fog line. It starts right where the yellow line is. You can barely see it because they don't want to make it too noticeable. But the green line is the heaviest fog point. And you can no longer see part past it. You can even see if I move my camera. You can even see the tree lines in the back. So the map is still existent. It's just um, we are not allowed to access. So I'm just going to. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in some units. Um, and to show you that they can't go past the uh, like boundary line pretty much uh, spawn in like maybe one soldier yeah it's good enough and yes, well sir. now um, the actual fog line well the fog lines are gone I don't know it's weird uh, but anyways we'll show you really quick that as you can see I even clicked outside but that maximum movement is right there they can no longer go past this line Where is so um yeah that's really about it guys this is a very very simple thing to do so now i hope i you guys found this very helpful and i hope this clarified all the questions that you've had in the messages that you gave me about how do you set the fog lines and all that stuff because i just made it all in one video for you so guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh give it a thumbs up all that stuff favorite it if you liked it all that stuff um if you want to access my Steam, you know, group, um, my email, Facebook, all that stuff, that will be all in the link down below. Again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.